Hello boys and girls and uh, well welcome back to calendar I'm Mr. Wiseman and September is almost over and you know what that means it's almost October let's look at our calendar today and you'll see that it's still September because September starts with a S sound well yesterday Miss Morrissey made 28 for you because yesterday was September 28 what's after 28 any idea? 26, 27, 28. Did you say 29? Because that's today. Today is September 29th. If you look right up above on the days of the week, you will see a T word. You know what that says? T -t -t Tuesday. Everybody say Tuesday. This is Tuesday. Remember your days of the week? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Tuesday, September 29, 2020. Wonder what tomorrow is going to be. It's not 2010. No, we don't say that. It's the next number after 29. It's okay, if you don't know it, you'll have to check back in tomorrow with Miss Morrissey and see, well, what it is. Because she might try and trick you, but I don't think so. I think you know what it is. Alright, Tuesday, September 29, 2020. Let's count, not to 20, we're going to count as high as we can on our September calendar. You can look at these numbers, or you can use your brain. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I think you're gonna know what comes next, I think. Well, you know what? I've been outside today and it's still kind of warm, but it's feeling cooler, which only means one thing. It's not summer anymore. It's fall. And we've been in fall for a few weeks. And if you're looking at the leaves, be on the lookout. They're going to start changing colors and they're stopping making their chlorophyll. Um, yeah, that's a hard word to say, but that's okay. It's a science word. They're going to change colors, and guess what? They're going to fall to the ground, and they're going to go to sleep, because trees sleep in winter. All right. I'm looking over here at our ABCs. Now, we don't have time to say our ABCs today, because we are getting so smart. We have some new letters and even some new words to do. Let's see what letters we're working on this week. This is my favorite letter. Uppercase, lowercase. Do you know this letter? Oh, goodness. It's right above it. What is it? W, because Mr. W -W Wiseman starts with W. The other letter is a vowel. It's straight. It's a straight letter. Uppercase, lowercase, do you know this letter? Hmm? I. Everybody say I. The third letter we've been learning this week, well, the uppercase is straight, but the lowercase is a little curvy. Do you know this letter? What? N. N is a consonant. W, I, and N. Thumbs up if you know what W says. Just think of my name. Wha, wha, Wiseman. Mr. Wiseman. W says wha, wha. Like what? Wha, wha. Watermelon? Wha, wha. Watch? I is a vowel. It's like itchy. 
Eh, like, eh, eh. Can you make the I sound? Eh, igloo. All right. N is a consonant, and it's a fun one to say. The sound of N is mmm. Now, take a tongue and put it on the roof of your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Can you see my teeth? Mmm. Can I see your teeth? Mmm. That is the N. N sound. So, wuh, wuh for W. I, like for I. And mmm for N. Alright. Keep the N in your brain. Are you ready? It's gone. I. It's gone. Is it still in your brain? W. It's gone. All right. Now, some of our words that we're learning this week. Thumbs up if you've been practicing your sight words at home. Double thumbs up if you've been practicing making words with your square letters that you cut out. All right, I hope so. I hope so. Two letters. What? Starts with one of our letters this week. W. W E is we. Everybody say we. Everybody read we. We. The other word. Oh. You know what? I hope your mom doesn't tell you this, but she might. N O. You know what N O is? No. Everybody say no. No. Everybody read no. No. That is no, not yes. No. All right, and the third word is. Two, two letters. IT. Do you know what IT is? It. Everybody say it. It. Everybody read it. It. Just like, oh, it was fun. All right. I'm going to erase it. Now, don't forget it. Because it's gone. What's this word again? No, yes, I'm going to erase no. And um, don't forget we, it's W-E. All right, now, we have a little bit of time left for our words. I'm going to try and make a sentence with some of our sight words. Thumbs up if you are an excellent writer. Double thumbs up if you're like the best writer in kindergarten. I've seen some pictures, and we have a lot of excellent writers, and I know you're one of them. All right. This is my sentence. We can see it. We can see it. Everybody read this with me. We can see it. Mom said no. Mom said no. Everybody read that with me. Mom said no. I don't know why she said no, but she did. And you know what? Mom's no best. Let's read our two sentences together. Are you ready? We can see it. Mom said no. Let's do it one more time because that's, that's a lot. Are you ready? Let's read together. 
We can see it. Mom said no. Alright, boys and girls, I'm going to erase those sentences because we have one last thing to talk about, so we don't have a lot of time. So you're going to have to get your brain ready for this. In math, we've been learning about um, position words like under and over and between. I'm going to get rectangle. Uh, and, a, and an oval. Well, that oval doesn't fit too well, so I'm going to get this oval. Alright, so we have a red rectangle. And we have this blue oval. We've been learning about position words like, where is the oval? I'm going to put it on top of the rectangle. It's on top. Everybody say, on top of. Alright, now I'm going to take the oval. I'm going to put it below the rectangle. Do you know where below is? It's under it. Below. Everybody say, below. Alright, now i got my oval. I'm going to put it above the rectangle. Everybody say above. Yep, the oval is above it. I hope it doesn't fall down. Now I'm going to put the oval under the rectangle. Where's under? Under. The rectangle is, well, the rectangle is above the oval. The oval is under the rectangle. Did you say under? Everybody say under. Alright, now we have another one next to. Everybody say next to. Do you know where the oval is going to go if it's next to the rectangle? Oh, it is next to it already. The oval is next to. That means they're side by side. They're like best friends. Alright, now I need a friend for this next one. Here is an orange circle. I'm going to put the orange circle there. The red rectangle is there and I've got my oval here. The oval needs to go in between the rectangle and circle. Everybody say in between. Where is in between? In between is in the middle. The oval is in between the circle and rectangle. They are all three friends because they're all three together. All right, boys and girls, well, that's all the calendar time we have for today. I wish we could sing a song, but we'll have to read some more in October. Will you please come back and join us? I hope, I sure hope you do. All right, this is Mr. Wiseman saying goodbye and see you next month.